In this lesson, we're going to discuss how modules work as namespaces. And a namespace is just a, another way to define a scope. When an object is defined within a namespace, it's like defining it within a function. Any definition inside a namespace is considered local to that namespace. So I could have a variable named x, for example, in the main program, and then have a variable named x in a namespace. And as long as I reference the x with the namespace, then the two names don't conflict. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. We're going to call this program namespace.py. In the past few lessons, we've been working with the Newton module in importing our functions like so, either with import star or importing a specific function or list of functions. Another way to import from a module, and a way we've used with other modules before, is to just say import Newton. When we do that with our own modules, we have to be careful. For example, watch this simple example. All right, notice it says the name square root is not defined, even though we know square root is imported from Newton. What I have to do is, to use square root, I have to qualify the name by naming the module first. That module then becomes the namespace for the square root function. Now let's try it. There we go. So that's why we were using the from Newton import star form of the import statement before, so that we didn't have to qualify it with the module name or the namespace name. But what this does for us, by doing it this way, we could also have other names in our program that we can use that have the same name as a function from Newton. So for example, I can define square as such. Now, normally I would not put a print function in the middle of a function definition, but I'm doing this primarily to separate the two. So now I can call either function, either square function, the function from Newton or the function from the main program, as long as I'm careful about making sure if I want to use the square function from the Newton module that I qualify it with the namespace name Newton. So let me show you an example. We'll say square from Newton dot py and then we'll say square from main program and then print square num and we should see the difference. Let's save and run the program. So, square from newton.py just prints 144, 12 squared. Then square from main program, first it prints the line not from the Newton module, and then it prints 144. So hopefully this helps explain a little bit about how modules work as namespaces. Those of you who are familiar with other languages such as Java and C++ and C Sharp probably are already familiar with how namespaces work. We haven't really covered them in this course, and namespaces aren't used in Python the same way they are in other languages. But here is a very clear example of how we can have two functions with the same name, but call them without a conflict by using a namespace name, or what we'll call the fully qualified name for the function. That's what we have right here. Newton.square is the fully qualified name for the square function that comes from the Newton module. So that wraps up this little lesson on modules as namespaces, and now we're ready to move on to the exercise for this chapter.